Okay, we're going to go over how to use the Fish Donkey app as a participant, as a fisherman. And specifically, we'll talk about entries and entering fish, fish into the Muskie National. And so as soon as I start, I, I go ahead and start the app. The first thing I see is a list of all the tournaments I take part in, and then two, two buttons, fish in a tournament and set up a tournament. Uh, you would click on the Muskie National in order to start that and enter your fish in it. You can also try the practice entering a fish tournament, which you could join. And what you can do in that is just submit any photo and practice. It's just a free little demonstration that you can use. So I'm going to, for this demonstration, use that. And we're going to pretend it's the Muskie National. Now, as soon as I log in, I will see the leaderboards. The Muskie National has three leaderboards. There's the largest muskie, which is going to be an arrangement of every fish entered from largest to smallest. You'll see them all here. The person's name, the length, and then the status of that fish. Also, it has a stringer of 20 muskie. The way that works, it, you take every muskie caught by one person. So if I, if I caught 50 fish, it doesn't matter how many fish I catch, the largest 20 fish will be totaled up into one numerical value by length. So all 20 fish will make up a, a, a length, and Mike Amundsen has 90 inches worth. We can see, if we click on it, we'll see both of those entries. He has a 44-inch muskie and a 46-inch muskie, up to 20, and it will automatically call. So he can just keep entering his muskies. It'll arrange his top 20, and then for each participant, they'll be ranked uh, here by total length, which is also total points in the Muskie National. And wild card muskie is another category. This is just every single fish that's entered in the contest, not in any particular order. And at the end of the contest, a winner will be chosen from this category at random. So those are the three categories we're, we're going to show you here. Uh, <clears throat> now let's talk a little bit about how to enter a fish. So to enter a fish, the first thing I do when I go to enter a fish, I just hit the blue button. And the very first time I do it, it gives me instructions. I can review these. We don't need to look at them. I'm going to go over them with you. And in fact, I want to show you what it's like after you've reviewed them the first time. So I'm going to cancel out of this and just do it again. So I caught my fish now and I'm ready to take my photos. I'm ready to enter my fish. I hit the blue button at the bottom. The app immediately opens the camera and I would take photos by using the yellow button in the upper left hand corner. I would take several photos of me holding the fish. The app will know the date and time and I, we want several photos of you holding the fish for promotional purposes and also it identifies another way who you are. And so take several uh, photos of you holding the fish and then also several photos of the fish on a measuring board, a bump board or a measuring device of some sort. And so we'll do that. You can take multiple photos. And in the middle, the middle button, the yellow button, you can also take a video recording. And we want you to record your release. So you hit the yellow button, you would pick up the fish and then put it in the water and show it successfully swimming away. Now that's a 30 second video. So if it takes you longer than 30 seconds, uh, and you haven't released the fish, you can either do it again, or you can just take another video, you can take multiple clips. And then when you're all done, hit the green check mark. And that will bring you back to the entry screen. You can see and review the, the photos and videos that you've taken. You can hit the yellow button and deselect them, or select them. Uh, if you wanted to add another photo, you can hit the button again, add photo or video. And let's say you hit the green check by mistake, you can just hit add photo or video and add more photos. So all you need to do is take those photos, choose the species, which is musky, and then enter the length. And I'm going to enter a 43 inch musky. I hit submit. Got one. That indicates that I, that I, I have submitted a fish and it's been received. And you'll see it show up in the leaderboard. That's me, I'm practicing as Billy Bass. I have a 43 inch musky. So just quickly to show you that again, I wanna show you what happens when you submit a new leader on the leaderboard. So 47 inches is the largest by John Samuel. We're going to submit a 48. We just caught a bigger fish. 
And when you catch the new leader on the leaderboard, you'll get a notification, which is a donkey sound. Everyone in the tournament who leaves their notifications on or has their sound on will get that notification. And that's kind of a fun thing in a long contest like this. So we're just going to review how to enter a fish again. Just hit enter a fish. It opens the app. You would take several photos of you holding the fish and also some photos of the fish on the measuring board. You would then take a recording of the fish being released. After you're all done with that, you hit the green check mark. You select the photos that you want to submit, and we're going to say that this was a 48 inch muskie, and we're going to submit it. Got one. And we'll see it show up on the later board, and then we will also uh, get a notification back from the server of the donkey sound, and that'll be coming shortly after the media. <laughs> So there it is. That's, that's how you enter a fish. It's actually a very easy and fast process. You will not see the enter a fish button uh, unless the tournament has started. So when you join the Muskie National, you won't immediately see the button enter a fish. Not, not unless the tournament has already started. And there's some more information we can show you here. If you press the small fish icon in the upper right hand corner here in the white area, if you press that, you can see all of your submissions, um, the species in different tournaments that you've been in, uh, the species and the length, and also whether or not that entry was fully received. And if you were checking and you didn't have your entry fully received, several, you know, you could just, what happens if you're in a bad internet connection, it might not be able to send in the entry. And so it will send it in eventually. It'll just wait until you do get a good connection and then send it in. But you could check here and see if the submission ever went through or not. Just another way to look at it. And also, I'm, I'm going to go back to the, to the leaderboards. If someone wants to review the fish, so um, if I want to look at the Billy Bass's 48 inch muskie, as a participant, I can review all the fish on the leaderboard. And so I would just click on it. And it takes a little while to open these photos because these are full high def photos. You're going to see the full version of the photo. And in order to see it, so you'll just you click on the photo. There, it'll take a little while for them to download. Um, it'll go faster on a faster connection. If you're out in the lake, you know, you don't really even need to see the, see the photos. Uh, you'll probably just be happy enough with looking at, at the information on the leaderboard. But later, you can click on and look at full high-def video. You can see a lot of detail. Uh, you can look at your competitor's fish. You can double-check the length, make sure it was correct. It's just a, a, a really cool feature. Um, you could look at all of them. You can watch the video, the release. You can see he caught a muskie. It was a 48-incher. It caught on the 9th of April at 6.32 p.m. Uh, his name is Billy Bass. He's from Port O'Connor, Texas. And, and that's it. There's, um, there's not much more to it than that. It's easy to enter a fish, and there's some cool things you can do with the app. Um, check it out.